Hey guys, and welcome to Upper Body Circuit. So today I have four blocks of work for you. Each block is going to have three different exercises that we'll repeat through twice. 40 seconds a piece with a 20 second break in between that I'll use to show you your next move. You'll need some light, medium, and heavy weights for today. Make sure you have water and a towel and a mat or a soft surface, and I think we're ready to get warmed up. All right, so let's just start by swinging those arms, loosening up those shoulders, Core is in nice and tight. So today we'll be focusing on the chest, the back, biceps, triceps, a little bit of lats. Shoulders will get hit here and there. Let's take some circles back. Nice and big, opening up that chest. And other way. Good, last one here. Let's reach it up and over. Take a little side bend. Forearm rests on that thigh. Last two. Good, other side. If you don't have weights, go ahead and grab some soup cans, shampoo bottles, or water bottles. Something to give you some resistance, or you can use your own resistance with your own body weight. Two more here. Good. Let's swing those arms back and up. Two more. Last one. Good. Now, we're just going to roll and kick back. So, Using our own body weight, squeezing those muscles, get them warm. So we're going to squeeze, squeeze that tricep in, down. Just warming those muscles up that we're going to be using. Let's go two more here, just like this. Good. All right, we should be good and warm. Let's just take some wrist circles here and other direction. Good, we should be good and warm. All right, so let's get started. Our first exercise is going to be a single arm row. So we'll work the right side first. So my left hand is placed on my left thigh. I'm here. I'm driving my elbow straight back, the weight comes right to the ribs, and down. Uh, make sure this does not happen, where you open the chest. Chest stays parallel to the floor, you're squeezing that shoulder blade right to that spine, core is engaged. You can go a little heavier with this, we're working one side. All right, 40 seconds here, in three, two, one, here we go. Squeeze, and down. You're looking down at that floor. Back is nice and neutral. left arm. So make sure that weight is in the opposite hand of the leg that's forward. Again, you're driving that elbow back. My chest stays square to the floor. Three, two, one. Here we go. Really squeezing that shoulder blade to that spine. Elbow drive straight back. Right. 
grass. All right, we have alternating fly. So I'm gonna go a little lighter for this. I'm gonna use my five pounds. So I'm alternating one arm at a time. My core is nice and tight, my knees are soft. So I go back and down. So I'm flying, I'm driving my elbow back. My elbow is soft like I'm hugging a beach ball. In three, two, one. Here we go, we're alternating sides. So right and left. Squeezing that shoulder blade right to that spine. Core is nice and tight by working one side at a time. We really challenge that core. challenge enough so figure out which weight you want to use and here we go so we have right and then left core and tight no rotating through that trunk everything stays nice and square to the floor Good. 
mat. So, engaging the glutes, feet are gonna stay down. We lift and squeeze, and then come down. Couple seconds here to breathe, and here we go. Make sure you're looking down at the floor. so you don't have to get up. You can just grab it, one weight on either side. So, <clears throat> alternating chest press. We're coming down, lower back engaged on that floor, weights hover. We go left and right, so we're alternating, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. So those weights hover while that one arm waits to go, it hovers above that ground. Weights are over the chest, not over your face. You can open your hands a little bit to let those weights fall right into those hands. Core is in tight. Hugging a beach ball. We open, my weight, my arm does not touch the floor, close, and then switch to the other side. In three, two, one, here we go. Weights up over that chest. We open one, we close. Open the opposite side, and close. Core really engaged, so your body doesn't move. Your body's going to want to rotate and twist because we're only working one side. Rest. Set those weights down. We're going to rock and roll up. All right. So the weights can stay next to you. So we have one more exercise before we go back to the top. So, we're going to hold in a half push-up. So, I want you to come on your knees with me. I love those kneecaps. So, hands in line with the shoulders, but a little bit wider. All we're doing is we're coming halfway down and holding, okay? So, we're engaged. Three, two, one, and here we go. So, we're just coming halfway down. And just hold and breathe. If it gets to be too much, press it up and then get back into it. Hold, your body's going to be shaking. That's okay. Hold, hold, hold. Rest. All right. We're flipping back over, we're going back to the top with that chest press. So grab your heavier weights for this. We're working to really exhaust those muscles today. So make sure you're choosing heavy enough weights. If you have them, if not, use your, use your mind to pretend that that weight is a lot heavier than it is. Trust me, it works. 
All right, chest press in three, two, one. Here we go. Weights over that chest. We drop one down and up. Lower back engaged. Don't let that arm touch that floor. It hovers just above. And I notice this time I'm starting you guys at the top instead of the bottom like I did the first time. That's okay. Just a little bit different challenge here by holding that weight up.
rest. All right, next, we are doing a hinged curl. So my feet are gonna be about hip distance apart, knees are soft, I'm hinging at my waist, notice my back is nice and flat, core is in tight, elbows are in, and I'm just doing a curl but at a little different angle, okay? In three, two, one, here we go. Just hitting that muscle a little different with each move. Pulsing up 
And again, don't grip those weights, let them fall right into those hands. Down. All right, so 
we have those pullovers. So holding that weight on either end, elbow soft, taking it back, don't touch the floor, lower back does not do this when it's over your head. It stays engaged and squeeze. Three, two, one, last exercise, here we go. So we take it back. Squeeze those lats. Nice strong exhale. Comes over the chest.
done with your workout for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I love having you here working out with me. If you like this workout, please let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already before you leave, please hit that subscribe button for me. Hit your notification bell so you know every single time I upload a new workout. And I will see you in the next workout. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.